is John Long Silver Rails, and I have a guest tonight, my son J-Man of the Metal Sharks channel. Tonight, yeah. we are featuring Chesapeake and Ohio trains. It's especially nostalgic for J-Man because he's had his childhood train packed away for years. It's the wonderful MPC Chessie Steam Special. So we're gonna show you some Chesapeake and Ohio trains tonight, folks. To start, I have this die-cast base Lionel post-war Chesapeake and Ohio little switcher. It's got some paint blemishes from time over the years, but it's a nice running, very heavy, beautiful little locomotive. Now, J-Man's gonna unpack his trains. Okay. So this is a train set I got for my birthday one year, probably when I was about 11 or 12 years old. So it brings back a lot of good memories. It's probably been at least three or four years since I've last run it. So I'm hoping it's gonna run well, but it's called the Chessie Steam Special. So here's the engine. So this was, as you can imagine, was my pride and joy as a child. Let's get that on the track. This white box here has the tender that goes with it. These boxes are baseball card boxes. They're perfect for storing Lionel trains. This has the sound of steam from the MPC era. One thing I don't know is what order these should go on. I guess there's probably an observation car and several passenger cars. And they're numbered, like this one is 9583. Well, the baggage goes first, so let's move this one back. This is the baggage car, 90, 9581. These cars have metal trucks, and the little label says Chessie Steam Special on the side right here. At least that's what I think it says with my eyes, being as they are. Alright, this is the combine that goes next. Now we have a coach, I suppose. This is 95.84. Then this is 95.85. The observation. Let's put a little smoke in this engine and see if it'll smoke while we're running it. This says Christmas pine. it up a little bit. We're going to say that this car that we're adding is an express baggage or freight car of some sort. 
After all, it is make-believe. They did have cars similar to this in passenger trains sometimes. And since this is our railroad, it can be whatever we say it is. locomotive from the MPC era and it pulls very well. Now let's see about this cast base Lionel post-war diesel engine. It has the little marker lights that are clear in the corner. Twin smokestacks. I think that's a radio antenna, a bell. Magnet traction of course. There's no horn or whistle in this. We can run a cab forward or Cab backwards, doesn't really matter. It has the electromagnetic coil couplers, which means that I could put a device in it <clears throat> to permit me to uncouple it anywhere on the layout without an uncoupling track if I wanted to. As a matter of fact, I think Lionel once marketed a system like that. I think they call it the Teledyne uncoupler. It's pretty rare, and I don't have one. There she goes. Now this runs very smooth, as you can see. It's lighting at both ends. You can't beat these die-cast base locomotives with the wire handrails and the horn here and the bell and all the detail. They're really nice. Everybody that loves Lionel trains should try to find some. They made a particularly beautiful seaboard version and they made the very plain Jane Santa Fe versions, one with the ringing bell in it. Well, that concludes our video of J-Man's nostalgic Chessie Steam Special train set. I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope it inspires all of you to love the MPC era, which is often overlooked by train collectors. It was a wonderful time for Lionel trains because they perfected the beautiful bright colors. They made Mickey Mouse trains and Bicentennial trains and all kinds of really colorful and beautiful trains. And they made special angled wheels on the plastic trucks designed to run on the old-fashioned tin plate track which had very little drag so you could pull really long MPC trains. The problem was that the couplers were not always up to the task so you might have a coupler open on you while you're pulling a long train. The solution is to glue it shut, wire it shut, or rubber band it shut. Thank you folks. I hope you'll like and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.